Hey, everybody, and well, I'm back with more My Sims agents, and I seem to have fixed the audio problem. Well, it was being way too loud. Um, so yeah. Um, so we have to continue finding quests here in the Main Street area. So next, we have to talk to Shirley. Hmm. What's wrong, Shirley? Mm. Somebody left me mysterious flowers. Will you help me out, hun? Yes, I'm on the case. Wonderful, hun. I have something I want to show you. And yeah, I'm going to give her a southern accent from now on. Here's what I wanted to show you. Someone knocked on the door, but when I opened it, I just found these flowers. Looks like you have a secret admirer, Shirley. We gotta find out who it is, hun. In case you ain't noticed, I usually don't like to do things subtle. All right, I'll be sure to see what I I'll see what I can find out. Hey, Poppy. Hiya, Toby. Do you recognize this bouquet? Of course. That's the number 27. Secret love bouquet. Well, who'd you sell it to, hun? Today, mm, Gino and Patrick and Mayor Skip. They all bought the secret love bouquet? It's a popular bouquet. <laughs> Alright, looks like I need to investigate Gino, Patrick, and Skip. Eh, I'd be fine with any of them. <laughs> okay. Did the... Did the admirer leave any evidence around Shirley's storefront? I should question the suspects about the flowers they brought. Bought. So, let's examine the flower bed. Looks like someone's been rustling around in these bushes. Is someone hiding here? Where did the person who messed up the flowers, the salon's flower beds go to? Aha, footprints. Uh-oh, looks like the footprints are fading away. Same thing as before. The prints are shown differently on different surfaces. We gotta go in here. Eek, come on. Thanks. Okay. Patrick's footprints were found outside the salon bushes. It's could be Patrick. <laughs> Prince lead to Patrick's trailer. Why would he have been in Shirley's flower bed? All right. Let's go inside. Hey, Patrick. Were you hiding in the salon's bushes? I wasn't hiding. I fell off the roof into those bushes. Why were you on the salon's roof? Fixing the air conditioning. My tool chest should still be up there if you need proof. Can I find any evidence to support Patrick's story? So I'll have to go up to the salon roof. And wait, Patrick, I have another question. Did you buy flowers? Sure did. I ordered them yesterday. Ordered them for delivery? Yup, but they never came. All I got was a form. From the city board of flower requisition, whatever that is. What a flower requisition form? Can I see it? Sure, if you can find it. I didn't open it, just tossed it somewhere in my trailer. <laughs> Maybe the city board of flower requisition is connected. Oh boy. That's not good. So, uh, it's probably in the trash. 
It's the letter, dear Mr. Rhino. We are writing to inform you that the City Board of Flower Requisitions has confiscated your order of flowers due to hard times. <laughs> that is suspicious. So we have to go talk to the mayor about that. Actually, I should check the notebook. So, to interview Gino and the mayor. To go up to the roof. Oh, wait. What's this? Oh. We have to find more evidence. Okay. So, first I'm gonna go... Check out the salon roof. So, we go actually up these boxes here. This is a lot of fun, actually. So we have to go on all these rooftops over to the salon. So just go on this wire. It's a nice little view here. You can sit down, etc. Skylight. You gotta jump up to this. Oh! Crap! I fell. <laughs> Alright, let's try that again. Oh, dang it! Why do I keep failing at that jump? That's so easy! Ugh. This is crazy. I have to get a little farther away from the computer. And yeah, I'm... Oh my god, am I gonna fall? No, okay, good. I am recording this on my computer because... Yeah. There we go. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, there's a chest here, actually. What did I get? Street clothes. And that was for, uh... Spring and fall. Okay. Real detective. Okay. The paints. You'll see what the paints do later, actually. Maybe even in this episode. Alright. Is this... This is it. There's a nest there. Okay, Patrick's tool chest is here. Alright, his alibi is checking out. Okay. So let's investigate- Oh, hey! There's something here. Forgot about that. You found a handwritten love note. So it must have blown off the doorstep. So... Should we go tell Shirley about... And there's, um, Rhonda, by the way. She doesn't really play a role. Oh, okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Poppy. Does she have to say? Oh, Patrick. Yeah, he was doing something on the AC on the roof. Okay. So we're gonna have to go get... Let's see, what was it? I don't know if we need to do the handwriting samples. Um... Oh, here's Gino's handwriting. So he didn't write the love note. But let's go talk to Gino. Gino, did you buy any flowers from Poppy? Yes, I did. Roses. Oh, really? Why did you buy them? Some romantic interest, perhaps? Yes, yes, it was very romantic. I used the rose petals to decorate my newest pizza experiment, the Paris Pizza. Oh, um, never mind. Alright, we have to find the Paris Pizza. Is it here? Well, there it is, a flower pizza. That is a very creative idea putting rose petals on a pizza. Okay. Um, alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so now we're gonna go to the mayor. He's the only one we haven't talked to yet. <laughs> um, let's see. Where is he? Ah, hello, sir. Can I see some of your handwriting? Why, I keep all my forms in my safe, but you are not allowed in there. He's being suspicious. Where does he keep the safe? Um, okay. 
More skip questions. Skip, tell me about this city boy to flower requisition. <laughs> what? Yes, that's totally a branch of our government. So you requisitioned Patrick's flowers for the city? I never said any such thing. No. The CBFR has nothing to do with me. Indeed? Okay, well, he's being suspicious again. Um, is there any evidence to be found? Well, there's some flowers here. These are the flowers from Poppy. Skip must not have given them to Shirley. Mmm, I wouldn't be so sure about that. Alright, let's ask him more questions. Oh, wait, never mind. Here. These books look like they've been... Taken off the shelf. They look like they've never been taken off the shelf. Wait a second. What do we have here? Well, there's the safe. Huh? Oh. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's locked. Mm. Yeah. Who? Well, Gino didn't lock his safe with the pizza maps, <laughs> but this guy does lock his safe. I wonder if Skip will give me the combo to the safe. <laughs> It's it's worth a try, I mean. Probably not, but... Hmm. I'd like the combination to your safe, please. <laughs> Certainly not. That combination is a secret. I only open it in private. Skip won't open the safe while I'm in the office. I should go outside and find a place where I can watch him open it. I wonder if I could catch the combo if I... Watched through that window. That is an excellent idea. So we have to go up on more ledges and be a parkour agent. There's a lot of parkour in this episode, actually. So walk down the sidewalk here. Over to this shifty looking alley. There's a van. <laughs> this is the thing that uh, Peanut Butter Gamer smashed in his video. <laughs> Anyways, let's go up here. Is smashing trucks and hacking computers and all that. <laughs> Anyways. Eugh. Oh, was I not supposed to do that? What am I doing? Ah, uh, I am failing at being a parkour agent. Totally failing. But that's looking awfully... Ah, oh, there we go. Here we are, let's examine. Can I see anything through this window? <laughs> <laughs> He's opening the safe. The combination is 12, 34, 22. I can open the safe now. Sweet. Okay. Let's get inside. Once again. Alright, let's open the safe and see what's in here. Uh -huh. A handwritten note. Dear Morcubus, thank you for the donation. I will, of course, not close down your evil factory. Love, Skip. <laughs> uh. Wow, that is corruption if I haven't seen any. Seems like Skip is in Wolkibus's pocket. Not a good place for a mayor to be, but back to the case at hand. Skip's handwriting matches the handwriting from the love note. He also created a fake branch of government to steal flowers from people. Alright, so we just have to find some evidence around here. Hmm. Filing cabinet, boiling mayor stuff, blah blah blah. Oh, we have to check in here. Search for evidence. So, this brings up 
Another interesting little mini game. Kind of like the repair. We have to hack into files. So this is a lot of fun. So time to get hacking. Quick lesson. But it's really actually not that hard, but I'll click here anyways. So you press A at the start. You can press um, B to make it go faster. And every time you pass over a question mark, the path may change. And you have to get, uh, you have to stay within the lines. And you have to get to the, you have to get to the stop before the time runs out. All right, this should be pretty simple. It's best to kind of like get ahead. So you don't get caught. Yeah. Mayor Rogers formed a fake civic bureau to requisition Patrick's flowers. What a random and gratuitous abuse of power. <laughs> oh man. He is a corrupt mayor. And it looks like Skip was the one. I should go and inform Shirley that Skip left the flowers. Very corrupt mayor. So he stole Patrick's flowers to give to Shirley, and then the ones he bought, he just used to decorate his office. <laughs> That's what it seems like. So, go inside. Shirley, hello. Hi, Shirley. I know who your admirer is. So, what's the deal, hon? Who's my lover boy? Looks like Mayor Skip is the one who left the flowers. Really? Ooh, a man with money and looks. I like it. But how did you find out it was him? Well, he made it tough. Matching his handwriting to a love note was key. A love note came too. Can I see it? Sure, it had blown off the bush into the bushes. He says my eyes are deeper than the moon. I like this guy's style. Well, his style was tough to track down. He certainly didn't want anybody to know it was him. He's shy. Oh, how cute. Well, cute's a relative term. I mean, he formed a puppet department of our government to cover up his flower purchases. And he... Thanks, Toby! I'm gonna go invite that hunk out on a hot date. But he's also corrupt and he's working with Morcubus. Oh. <laughs> oh well, good luck, Shirley. Alright. We got some uh, ha hairstyles. This is the hair salon. Anyways, that is going to be it. Actually, now we're going to go back to Walker. Hey, Toby Buddy over here. Uh -huh. And what am I doing with his voice? <laughs> uh. <laughs> Alright, Walker. Agent Walker, sorry. Very impressive work. Who knew that Mayor Rogers was so closely associated with Morcubus? The agency will be keeping an eye on him from now on. We should also figure out why the mountains are so important to Morcicorp. And we will, but first... Toby, you're ready now. I am promoting you to the rank of Special Agent. I am assigning you to your own headquarters right here in the city. 
Woo woo yeah. <laughs> I'll own headquarters. Now Gino can actually use both of his tables, pal. You'll have to take the train to get there. I'll meet you at your headquarters later. I have some agency business to take care of first. Yes, so in the next episode, we will go up on the elevated train and go to the headquarters. Oh, and this is Lewis, and he's the news guy. So yeah, he's talking about the case we just did. But anyways, so in the next episode, we will go on the elevated train up here and go to the headquarters. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. So bye.